Also on hold right now, couples all over the Bay Area. Weddings that have been in the works for years now canceled or postponed of all in an effort to keep people safe from the coronavirus. Eight on your sides, Marco Villarreal joins us live. And this is heartbreaking for families and expensive, Marco. It really is. And you know, a lot of these brides and the families, they've been planning to walk down the church steps for months, sometimes even years. But now, couples who are uncertain of the future are certain of one thing, and that's what they're leaning on, their love. For Emily Pantelis and Matt Martiak, it's hard not to smile when you're this in love. So in love, they're making it forever, March 21st. They found the perfect venue for the reception, overlooking the water at the Westin Tampa Bay. But then, guests started canceling. It started with the trickle of my family from Ohio and, and Boston and his family mostly from Virginia basically saying we don't know how we're going to get down there. Then the hotel called to cancel their reception. Devastated, the hope is to avoid the worst of wedding crashers, the coronavirus. So we've really worked on building each other up and leaning on family and friends in this time. I think, you know, we're not in the di most dire of circumstances, but it's definitely upsetting. <laughs> Thousands of weddings are now canceled or postponed. Wedding venues, not the only ones having to make adjustments. Your florist, your DJ, your photographer, your linens, it's affecting all of us. At the Temple Terrace Country Club, private events are a huge part of their business, but weddings are more personal. And it's so uncertain right now, um, it's, it's just going to happen. And so we're working as best with everyone to reschedule dates if possible, um, to be understanding of cancellations. Your love will survive this, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. There's that. that's, that's one thing our, our foundation of our relationship is definitely built upon right now. And the wonderful thing about this couple is that they're still planning to get married on Saturday. They're going to be doing that at their church, but it's only going to be family that's living here in Tampa and Matt's parents who are going to be driving down from Virginia. Stacy, they're telling me that the big celebration, the reception, the party, that'll come later. Ah, well, at least they have the right attitude about it. But so many people, so many couples in this same position, Marco, uh, is there any way to make distant family a part of the big day? That's a great question. I'll tell you what, one of the things that they really lament is the fact that their grandparents are not going to be able to be here at the wedding. And so what they're planning to do is to live stream the event, you know, have the Facebook uh, video up so that they can watch from home and not have to be in danger of, you know, possibly exposed to the coronavirus. That's the big fear right now is that all these people are gonna, might be able to bring that. So right now, live streaming, saving the day in a lot of different instances. Yep, absolutely. Marco Villarreal, live for us. Thank you.